after spending several years on Melrose Place. Our next guest changed her address and moved on over to one of my favorite new shows, Ooga 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 Shaka, Ooga 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 Shaka. Allie McBeal, take a look. What's the penguin? Oh, it's a little hard to describe. You, you, you kind of have to see it. Can I? Sure. <laughs> we're, we're aiming for tonight. Shh. What's going on? Mm, nothing. We're just mm. talking about the case. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I forgot how much fun a plane crash can be. <laughs> uh, Billy, um, mm -hmm. Ellie and I are going to go out tonight at the girls' night out kind of thing. That, that's okay, right? <laughs> sure. Great. Well, we better get ready because closing's in an hour. Please welcome Courtney Thorne Smith. How are you? Um, welcome great. back. I'm great. I just met Bob Newhart. Isn't he the greatest? I'm beside myself. I'm beside myself. My parents let me watch that show. We watched it together, and I'm really? just, my heart's beating. It's very odd to interview people that you grew up admiring so much like that. <sighs> like you, I'm not nervous because I've only known you since I've been a grown-up. <laughs> I like you, but it's not the same thing. Do you know what I mean? And we met before you interviewed me. We met, so and so you've done easier, my show. So it's a whole easier. different thing. You and I, we talked about junk food. It was yes, a good I time. Yes, actually, I, I owe you. I am forever in your debt because last time I was on the show, my mom was here, and you teased her about only feeding me health food. Yeah. Last time she picked me up at the airport, she had candy in the car. We now have a candy dish at her house. It's like organic carrot juice and wheat-free bread and good and plain and hot tamales. Give me a high five on that! Yes. Huh? Now wait a minute. That's great. Good and plenty hot tamale, no chocolate products? She only went with the fat free? Now, well, as long as I have to fit back into my costumes, we got to stick with the yeah. hot tamales. All righty, next time, let's hope. Next time. Bowl of Snickers. <laughs> Bowl of Snickers would be good, Mom, if you're watching. Maybe the bite size I'm enjoy. Very enjoyable, the whole family. Now, how's your sister was about to have a baby last time you were here? Oh, my sister has a baby. She has my a baby? My sister has a baby, uh, Cassidy. Cutie yes. patootie? Cutie patootie. I'm in a lot of trouble. Why? I'm in a lot of trouble. Because apparently, apparently, now I deny it, but I was feeding Cassidy the other day, and apparently I said, totally by accident, take a bite for Mommy. Yeah. Not a good thing. I deny it. You deny it. But my visitation has been cut way down. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, you see? it's bad. Before I had my children, I did that with my nieces too. Like I'd go you out did? in the store and people would say, oh my God, is that your daughter? She's, yes, she is. <laughs> and she looks just like me. And then when, you know, when they try to manipulate you, they're three, like my niece would say, I love you more than mommy. I'm like, good, good, <laughs> love me more than mommy. But you're, you were going to be the nanny, weren't you? Before you got Allie McBeal, you were going to stay home and help her? Yeah, that was the plan. My sister's a little disappointed. A little yeah. disappointed. And you didn't, you got the show and you couldn't I do got it. a job and I couldn't be the nanny. Let me say something about the show. Yes. It's amazingly wonderful. <laughs> I love it. And the Golden Globe, congratulations on that. Was that exciting for oh, everybody? Oh, thank you. Well, it was really, when we found out we were nominated, we all went scurrying around, picking out our dates and getting ready to go. And they told us a week before that we didn't rate dates. We're not quite there yet. Oh, Calista no. got a date because she got nominated several, but the rest of us didn't get a date. No, well, you know, they got those table things there. They got, they got the same. You got to show up with your whole table, you know. We did, so we just went together, and we're feeling like real, we're feeling cool because we're on the limo together. Sure. Yeah, we're on this cool show. Yeah. We're all feeling really cool. We get out on the press line feeling really cool. We end up in the press line between Madonna and Jim Carrey. So it goes like this Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. Hey, look, it's a cast of Ellie. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. Oh, a little overlooked. Not on the way out, though. Big winners. It was winners. good. It kept us humble. No, we, yeah, we were the big winners. We went to the one. We went to the Fox party first, and then Peter and Greg and I left early because we had an early call. And we're walking out. We looked over, and we saw like that there were movie people heading into the big party. Yeah. And we sneak in, and we go see. Someone goes, "Excuse me." Tori said, "We're sorry." And she goes, "No, you can go in. You won." Right. Like, exactly. Oh, we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now, um, you yes? are you think you're gonna have your own kids or? I don't want to be pushy or anything, but with your sister's baby, you seem very into it. And... Oh, yeah. I plan to have my own kids. Yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. My dogs can only stand so much more of me. Your dogs. What do you got? Yeah. It's, I got two Basenjis. I don't know what Basenji. Well, I found them in a dog book, actually. When I bought a house, I thought, I need dogs now. And yeah. I found them in a dog book, and it said, don't smell, don't bark. Nice. I thought, that's amazing. Right. It's perfect. Yeah. They also don't obey, and <laughs> which would be the negative part. That, that would be the negative part. Yeah. And they do, they do what's called a yodel, which I thought would sound like, eh. yeah. no, and I happen to have brought it. Okay. Okay. 
No, I have to hold this up. First of all, here they are, and I don't think you can see them, but this is something my mom got me. Okay, you let me You probably can't. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, you can the see little them. Little They're cute. Okay, my yeah, mom got me. This is, this is my alarm. Okay, you ready? This is their little delicate yodel. Again. Press play. <laughs> it should say no barking but satanic growling or something. That's like something from The Exorcist. Isn't that terrifying? Does it scare your neighbors? <laughs> no, but whenever I'm on the phone, especially like talking to a guy, talking about a date or something, they hear that noise and they go, Chip, a lot of babies in the background. <laughs> no, just the Basenji. No, it's, okay, bye. Yeah, well, that's something else. Boy. How, how, what are their names? George and Ed. George and Ed. Are they going to be showbiz dogs? You going to get them in TV? No. Just home dogs. You're not going to put them in commercials or nothing. No, the, for a while, actually, Ed was on TV more than I was because people were far more interested in them. Yeah. So now they're locked in my house. They are. I can't stand the competition. I, I can't me. take it. First movie you were ever in? Lucas, right? Charlie Sheen? No. No? See, that's a commonly held misconception. I, you know, and I hate to be pigeonholed like that. Why? What? No, I was, I was in a movie. And actually, I brought a clip because people don't actually believe I was in a movie far younger. My break happened much earlier. Really? Do we have that? What movie? It's called Escape to Witch Mountain. You probably Escape remember Escape to Witch Mountain? You have, roll yeah. it if they have well, A lot it. of you probably remember me from it, but let's look at the clip okay. just to refresh your memory. Let's roll it. I didn't see you. I didn't see you in that. Now, are you, are you in competition with me? No, oh, I'm just clearly there. No, I'm just saying, Courtney, I didn't really see all you. Right, all right, the, can we roll that a little slower, please? <laughs> see? <laughs> see? That would be you? Yeah, I'm in the dark turtleneck. Is that actually you, really? Well, see, actually, there's, a, there's an ongoing debate because that's either me or Amy Armstrong. Now, our mothers, like young stage mothers of extras, Yeah got into a little bit of a tiff about that. Yeah. We're still convinced it's, it's me. I think it looked like you. Oh, sure. She, she had your walk. Yes, yeah, see? Courtney Thornsmith, thank you very much. Lou Grant, up next. Don't go away.